Hi everybody, this is Terry Lee, and this is an introduction to the uh, modified manila envelope envelope stack that we're going to do. I decided to go ahead and do a tutorial on it. Now the original one that I did, you can see the flip through if you're a member of the um, Sweet Pea Papers Facebook group. There's a link to that in the text file below. Just uh, below my name, just click the more little word that says more that's a link and a whole bunch of additional information will come out and um, by the way there'll be links to everything you need in case you don't have it um, but you, but you by no means have to go buy a bunch of envelopes I'm just saying um, this this one uh, weighs a pound and a half and um, we're not going to do the exact same one. I had some troubles with this one. I was able to overcome it, but um, the problem, the main problem was that there were too many envelopes that were stuck to this side. Now this part right here is the manila folder, so I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about this part in front of this bookmark. All of this right here is the part that was too thick on this side. You can see it almost needs a book spine. So anyway, this is a similar goal. Oh, see, and I almost did it again. I have a little list this time. This is the second time I videoed this intro. Um, you can also see the flip through on YouTube. But if you're a member of the Facebook group, then you get, and I'm not sure I'm gonna do it on this one because it's kind of crazy but um, you normally get a step-by-step -step, uh, PDF on how to do the projects that I show you on YouTube. And you get, uh, sometimes you get additional files like templates and things that you can use. So that's just another reason to join the Facebook group. Plus everybody is really nice and helpful. So there you go. All right, so this is the original. Watch the flip through if you want. This is a very large book. I'm not going to go through it again. All right. So now um, the different envelopes that I'm going to use, I'm going to start out with the base of a six by nine envelope. And this particular one that I'm using is white, but you can use one that's this um, brown color or um, like graph, not graph paper, construction paper color. Um, I think they have them in other colors too, but I'm not sure. But that's this is going to be the base that we, you know, stick our other envelopes onto. Oops. Like that. Okay. Now, we're probably, and in fact, we're definitely going to cut this top off because I don't want to have to try to figure out a way to close it. And we're going to make this part a big giant pocket. All right. Now we're also going to use definitely two of these big gift card envelopes. Let me measure it for you with Mr. Pen. Mr. Pen is my ruler. And um, the reason I mentioned them is because part of the purchase price of these, and they're really cheap. I got three of these 12 inch ones for less than $7 but you can get a set that has a little baby one for six inches and a big one that's 12, very inexpensively at well, as well. But part of the uh, purchase price goes to uh, a fund that um, sends money for school supplies to schools and does other things for children, just so you know. Okay, this is a five and three quarters by eight and three quarters envelope, possibly called an A6. Don't hold me down to it. Okay, so we're definitely going to use these three. We're definitely going to use a manila folder. Okay, now you're definitely going to need a ruler. You're also, um, I'm, I've got some several different sizes of business envelopes. These I like because they're white on the inside. They, they're not the security mark now the only ones these are the only ones i could find on amazon and they do have the pointed uh top so that makes this really big but normally we just cover them with paper anyway so um and we actually cut the opposite side 
to slide in a card or whatever. So um, they're a little more difficult to work with and we may and they're a little long as well which once we're gonna since we're gonna cut the top top off that might be fine might be a little cool kind of cool um so we'll see i'm not sure about these um and we'll talk about some more business envelopes in a minute we're definitely going to use some cd sleeves they can be old um, we're going to cover them with paper. I'm going to show you how to cut out the circles on my Big Shot, which is a die cut machine. You don't have to have one. You can just cut the circles out or you can actually uh, make a rectangle and not use the uh, whole circle. Just a tip. All right, we're going to probably use some of these size envelopes. These are smaller invitation envelopes similar to the ones that you send um, you can hear my dog jingling uh, similar to the ones that you use to put the other envelopes inside to send for like wedding invitations we're going to use some business envelopes we're going to junk mail yay junk mail something everybody has and um, we're definitely going to use one with a great big window you can choose your size we're definitely going to use a couple where it doesn't really matter where the window is. We're definitely going to use one that has one large window on it or medium size window on it. So these that, that have two or any kind of weird ones um, you can use and you can use ones that are shorter than these as well. Um, when I get to the kit here in just a second you'll see I'm probably going to try 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 to use these um, brown craft colored envelopes these may be what go on the base um, I don't know they're awfully big I really 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 want to use them though um, they make good book bases <laughs> wait a minute I'm getting off the list okay um, so now those are the envelopes this is the original one. Oh, I'm going to try to use some of these little coin envelopes as well. If you don't have them, don't use them. It's no big deal. And we're going to construct um, with some business size envelopes uh, or letter size envelopes uh, one of these little fold outs. Um, I've used my olive green craft paint. Hold on. And it's funny these are called these the the name of the company is cheap <laughs> but it's c-h-e-e-p like a bird and the color is olive green okay and what I do is I use it to paint where you see where the envelopes go together you know like when you put the paper on um, and that way you don't see that little bit of this uh, business security stuff in the middle because I'll tell you right now these right here are the only envelopes and they've got the long point. I looked forever for some that had the straight across flap um, that don't have the security stuff on the inside. So the big ones and the junk mail, we may all ha have to paint all of them in the fold um, olive green. We'll have to wait and see, but uh, probably. So you might want to get out some craft paint, whatever color, red, whatever that's going to go with yours because the kit we're going to use wow i am going right down my list much better than the first time i tried to do this okay the kit we're gonna use is called winter in victoria v-i-c-t-o-r-i-a as in the victoria area of uh, canada um and so it is let me see i've got them moved around now from the first time um these um, will give you an idea. Let me double check here in the cam under the camera to see where I'm at. Um, these will give you an idea of what the pictures are like in it. They're not ho, 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 Santa Claus, Christmas. They are uh, Christmassy and they have Christmas things in them. These are ornaments and there's cardinals and there's poinsettias and there's candy canes, right? But they're kind of a different style. And so um, there's these postcards that we're going to be able to use. We use them as note cards. So there's these and it gives you an idea 
of the pictures. There's a deer, there's some bells. The bells are very pretty. So it's got blues in it. It's got blues and peach, but it also has the red and the green. These are the bookmark sized ones. I'm not going to go through every single one. And there's some other uh, ones that we can use for cards. That's why I like this kit, other than the fact that it's really pretty. This kit is by Antique Papery, and it's P-A-P-E-R-I-E. -E. So it's Antique Papery, and it's all one word on Etsy. There will be a link to this kit in the text file right below this video. Um, so... If this comes out funny, it's because I had to pause because I said the wrong store that I got it from. Anyway, here's, you know, there's a bunch of other stuff. Let's get, let me get through here real quick. There's quite a bit of ephemera for us to use. Okay. But these are the, some of the big pictures. You can see they're very pretty. This one can be folded in half or cut in half easily to make a, a nice matching pattern for the center. And uh, so anyway, this is an idea. I'm not really sure about the beehive thing, but uh, all right. Anyway, I really like this page. Poinsettias and pine cones, even though obviously poinsettias do not grow on pine trees, but they're very pretty together in this picture. And we have cardinals and uh, the uh, berries on the uh, blue spruce, I believe. Christmas tree, a cute squirrel on a Christmas tree. Anyway, a wreath. Very nice, very nice kit. And uh, so we'll be using that. And it looks like I've got through my list. And if you want to hear something funny, the very thing on the bottom of my list says shut up and say goodbye <laughs> so this is an overview of what we're going to need and what we're going to use um, as always um, in an envelope stack the envelopes may change the stack is going to probably change i'm not sure if there's going to be a pdf with a step-by-step -step on this one um, it just depends on if i can keep track step-by-step -step of uh, what we what we do Look at that. I made a book out of it, and now I can't get it apart. Okay, so that's it for the intro, and I will talk to you soon in um, the first video of the tutorial, and that will be a second for you and probably a couple days for me, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.